Do you think if JFK lived, we would not have a Cold War? No, absolutely not. I, and we go into great depth on that in the uh, film, and I'd urge you to see it, because it goes into all the issues around the world. Kennedy was being very much an anti-imperialist, it turns out, and many people would just don't understand that, but you have to look at all his policies in Middle East with Nasser, he had a relationship with Sukarno in Indonesia, uh, with Latin America, he made a big effort with the Alliance for Progress. And uh, when Africa, above all, with Lumumba, he was very shocked at his death and tried to def defend the, the right, the integrity of the Belgian Congo with Dag Hammarskjöld of the UN. He made a big effort. Unfortunately, it didn't work out because they were Dag Hammarskjöld was killed and then Kennedy was killed. And Congo descended into the chaos of Joseph Mobutu's dictatorship. But Kennedy was very active in terms of, as an Irishman, not as an Englishman. He was an Irishman. And I say that because, well, we'll come back to that, because Mr. Joe Biden is an Irishman, but it's a different kind of an Irishman. They're both Catholic Irish, but Kennedy really made an effort to change the imperialist mindset that it still was very strong in America and uh, Europe. And Lyndon Johnson changed back to the old policy, and we were never able to really keep detente going with the Russians. Briefly had it with Carter, but then Zip, B B Brzezinski came in. Brzezinski was his national security advisor. He was put there by Rockefeller, and Brzezinski was a Pole. He got revenge from the Poland. Poland has always been attacking Russia, as far as I remember, back to another century. I mean, the two world wars that occupied Russia, and so tragically, uh, entry points were always through Poland and Ukraine. Uh, so, uh, Brzezinski got his revenge and Carter ended up being an enemy of the Soviet Union and creating, the, as Brzezinski took pride in it, he created the atmosphere, the trap for the Soviets to go into Afghanistan in 79. That trap was set, he says, he said in 1978. Um, so th we, there was never, except for brief moments of periods of detente with the Soviets.